work and I'm looking forward to not having that pain. In good times and especially bad times, I think about that song and how this world is not my home. I'm here and I'm living, but I know there's somewhere else. At work, I'm like a square peg and everything I see is round holes. I just don't fit sometimes the way that I behave and the way other people do. There are other activities after work that people talk about. I just, I don't belong. But heaven? Do I belong there? You know, the word heaven is found 276 times in the New Testament. I thought Paul would like looking that up. Uh, 276 times. So, you know, people always say, well, it's not said more than once in the Bible, so it must not be important. Well, 276 times, maybe that's just coincidence, but it's talked about enough that I know I want to go. What is heaven like? Well, let's see what the Bible says. So I wanted to read John chapter 14, verse 1 through 14. I'm going to be reading from the ERV. John chapter 14, verse 1. Jesus said, don't be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. I would not tell you this if it were not true. I'm going there to prepare a place for you. After I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back. Then I will take you with me so that you can be where I am. You know the way to a place where I'm going. Thomas said in verse 5, Lord, we don't know where you're going. So how can we know the way? In verse 6, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The only way to the Father is through me. If you really knew me, you would know my Father too. But now you know the Father. You have seen him. Philip said to him, Show us the Father. That is all we need. Jesus answered, Philip, I have been with you for a long time, so you should know me. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father too. So why do you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The things I have told you don't come from me. The Father lives in me, and he is doing his own work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or believe because of the miracles I have done. I can assure you that whoever believes in me will do the same things I have done, and they will do even greater things than I have done, because I am going to the Father, and if you ask for anything in my name, I will do it for you. Then the Father's glory will be shown through the Son. If you ask for anything in my name, I will do it. Just reading that, we have to go through Jesus to get to heaven to be able to see the Father. And in Revelation chapter 22, it talks about kind of what it looks like and how there will be a river of water running down the flowing down the middle of the street, and the tree of life will be on both sides of the river. And in 22 verse 3, it says, nothing that God judges guilty will be there in that city. We just read, sang some songs about how beautiful it will be, how light it will be, and nothing that is God judges guilty will be there. So there won't be anything that you'll have to worry about. There won't be pain. There won't be sorrow. There won't be sadness. In verse 5, it says, there will never be night again. There'll be no darkness. Only light. Do you remember when you were a kid? The longest day was Christmas Eve day. I was always excited and anxious impatiently waiting for Christmas Day and my gifts. 
That day lasted forever. It's like it could not get over quick enough. I wanted to get to that next day. And the more excitement when Christmas Day came. That's how we should be every day. Anxiously awaiting, wanting that next day to come. Because when we get there, think of all that joy and excitement. I know the first thing I'm going to do when I get there is I'm going to throw myself at God's feet and thank him for everything he gave me here and thank him for welcoming me there. Now, I'm, I'm not looking to go anytime soon, but I'm anxiously wanting to get there. If you go out into the world and you ask people where they're going when they die, most people will say they're going to heaven. People will say they're a good person. And God wants me to be happy, so I do what I want to do. Is that how it works? I can do what I want, when I want. I just have to be a good person. If you could turn to Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Jesus says, not everyone who calls me Lord will enter God's kingdom. The only people who will enter are those who do what my Father in heaven wants. So there is, we have to do what God wants us to do. And if we decide, well, I'm a good enough person to make it. In verse 23, then I will tell those people clearly easier to sign sometimes <laughs> I will tell those people clearly get away from me you people who do wrong I never knew you so if you're not going to heaven I just want to focus on heaven 2023 has been a tough year for many families. Gary and Marilyn Henson, Bill and Norma McGuffey, Bob Smith. Of course, Grandma. This was easier earlier. <laughs> um, I am not the judge, and I don't ever want to be. But I feel I know where they went. The human side of me wants them here with me. But I'm happy for where I think they went. Acts 17.11 talks about how Paul and Silas went to Berea and it says they received the word and with great eagerness examining scriptures daily to see whether these things were so. That's what we need to do. We need to read the Bible. We need to study the Bible. We need to make sure we're doing what God wants us to do so that we can make sure that we get to go to heaven too. I think that's about it, a shortened version of what we need to do. So where we can go, where we wanna go. So let's study our Bibles to make sure we're doing what God wants. Let's follow the example of Jesus so we don't hear his words from Matthew 723 because like the song no tears in heaven almost there it is no tears in heaven no sorrows given all will be glory in that land there'll be no sadness all will be gladness when we shall join that happy band no tears in heaven's fair no tears no tears up there, 
sorrow and pain will all have flown. No tears in heaven's fair, no tears, no tears up there, no tears in heaven will be known. I don't know about you, but I'm anxiously awaiting. I'm not ready to die, but I'm ready to continue a new life through God and Jesus. Because I, like I said, this world is not my home and there are no tears in heaven. If you want to make sure that you're doing everything God wants, or maybe you don't know what he wants, maybe you need some prayers. Let's study, let's pray, and let's make sure that we are right. If there's anything that you need, please make your way forward as we stand and sing.